Hey, what's up guys? So before I get started, uh, check this out. So what'd you guys think of that? So that's what RC used to be back in 1987. So what do I got for you today? I found a really, really good condition Nico Turbo Panther. Um, so I remember this car. Uh, oh my goodness here. Sorry, I pre-prepared this. I took the screws out of the body so we could take a look underneath. But anyways, let's take a look at it like this first before I uh, get the body off. So this is a really actually a really nice looking little buggy uh, from back in 1987. I don't know a heck of a lot about it. I just kind of looked it over. I found it uh, again. It, this was a um, value village find. So it was like a thrift store. Um, I don't know if I still have the no the price isn't still on it. I think it was five bucks or six bucks or something like that. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, damn, that's an Eco Turbo Panther. So I'm going to snap that up. Um, so let's take a quick look at it and see what it is. It doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have a controller. Um, so I'm going to have to do something to update the electronics to current year, um, which is, I'm fine with it. I'll more than likely go with, uh, this guy right here. Cause I'm a big fan of these. Hold on. Uh, the Hobbywing 1060 quick run. So that'll fit in there, I'm sure, but let's take a look first, because I really don't know. I only just kind of took the screws out, took the body off, and just sort of took a peek. But let's look at it like this first. So cool things about it here. Let's take a look here. Cool things about it, it's got, I don't know if you can read that, but it's got, that's Bridgestone. It's like Bridgestone um, licensed tires on here, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, let's turn it around the back. Like most of the RCs from this era, it's got the low high switch. Um, and in here, here, I'm gonna put this down. In here, I think, I'm not sure what the size of the motor is, um, but based on the condition of this buggy, this thing has barely been driven. Like it's in perfect shape. So I'm gonna leave the motor as is and I'm just gonna hook up the ESC. I'm gonna upgrade the servo. So let's take a look here, pop the body off. Look at, <laughs> look at what they used to do back in 1987. Look at the board on this thing. Wow. Um, holy mackerel. Okay, so this uh, this board's obviously going to come out, and I think I'm going to put the ESC right in there. So there's the motor there. Let's uh, let me get this thing off here. Um, there's a couple of screws. I didn't realize there's three there. I'm going to pop these off so we can take a look at the servo. Just hold on for a sec. Okay, so I got the screws out. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pop this bad boy off with you guys. I'm not sure what's under here. Let's take a look. <laughs> Wow. Look at the servo. It looks like it is like a million wraps of coil wire. It's got a couple of wires going off it onto this board. And then it's got like these plates piled upon each other. I guess maybe magnetic or something. I, I'm thinking what this is supposed to do is when there's power and the wheels turn there's more than likely, this is supposed to center it. Yeah, look, I don't even know if that was used as, if it's a spring or a magnetic. It looks magnetic. This looks like it would be a magnet and it just centers it by magnet. Wow. Anyways, um, looking at this thing, if you look, it's just a couple of rods, see, attached in there. So this thing's gonna be really easy. I'm gonna be able to fit a servo in here, no problem. Um, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Neat from 1987. Look at the butch suspension on this thing. Um, I'm a big fan of these old school things. I've got a bunch of these, so I'm going to be covering a few. Um, if this isn't your guys' thing, that's totally cool. 
Um, I'm just going to put the videos up anyways. And if, you know, if you're more into my crawler stuff, that's awesome. I'm going to keep putting up crawler stuff. Um, but if this interests you too, this is like a part of RC history, I think. So I just wanted to cover some of it on my channel because this is where it kind of all came from. Um, I mean, this isn't the best brand. This isn't a Tamea or anything like that. Um, but back in the day, like most kids couldn't afford a Tamea. They couldn't afford those high end um, RC cars. So this would have been their best bet. You could pick this thing up at like, I don't know, like I think a Sears or a Grand and Toy back in those days or something like that. A Toys R Us maybe. Um, and this would have been awesome. Like I would have been happy to have this when I was a kid. Um, so anyways, yeah, guys, there she is. I'm going to update this thing. We're going to bring her up to 2019. So stay tuned for those videos in the future. I just wanted to get this thing out. I wanted to show you guys that hilarious commercial because I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for some of the classic stuff if it interests you guys. Take care. Have a good day.